Hi folks, um, this is the second video on SQL Select Join Tables. So in the previous video, video 208, I showed how we combined the product table and the sales order detail table. So you can see these tables here. So what if we want to add another table? So what we can do is, again, we want to select the other table, which in this case will be sales order header. And we're going to link it to the sales order ID. So we will select sales order ID, although we, we will remove it. So we can then select order date, due date, ship date, um, sales order number, account number, customer ID, sales person ID. So if we click add, click OK. Then what we want to do is we want to join these fields. To this one table up here so what we do is we will copy um, or cut on the reader so we'll say comma and we paste our new fields then what we need to do is we need to add our third table which in this case happens to be sales order header and we'll alias that as t2 and then again as in the previous video, we just need to copy, copy these down, but rename them to T2. So we copy them down. then we need to add our, our where statement. So we, we're finished with this table here, so we no longer need it. And then what we want to do is say, so first of all, it's where t0.productID is equal to t1.productID and t1 dot sales order ID is equal to T2. So now we have T2 uh, sales order ID, but we no longer need that because we're going to join it on T1 sales order ID. So we remove that. So again, if we reload our uh, script, press control on or can see now we've got our extra fields and um, we can click OK choose table view at all and you can see now that we've got a table just have to clear our selection we've got a table here that contains three different tables all created with one SQL select statement So again, what we're doing is we're selecting our fields from each table. So we selected these four fields from uh, product. We alias product as T0. So we put T0 dot product ID and so on. Then we selected um, our sales order detail. We alias that as T1 and we renamed the fields with T1 dot sales order ID and so on. And again, we've done the same with, same with sales order detail. And then we're going to join them where the product ID on product and sales order D match and then we're going to do it on sales order D ID where the sales order ID matches the sales order header ID. So again I'll reload that one more time you can see it's fetching the data we've created our table box um, and it's all working fine. So that's pretty much it again we can if you've got 10 tables you can add them all one thing to be careful about is to make sure that when you're doing your where statement that you're doing it on index fields um, if you don't it will take forever to get back the information from uh, the database but well, as long as you use index fields we're using an access database so uh, and it's quite small and it's a test database so it's pretty simple but uh, it is something to consider when you're 
using the Wooden Neural Click Human Worms. So I hope that helps and I'll see you next video.